Good morning. It's a great day to be alive. I just want to show this uh, circuit and how it works right quick. I have a diagram right here. I drew this up based on uh, John Bandini's work. Uh, pretty easy to understand, hopefully. The coil. Mine is wound counterclockwise. The arrows on here on my schematic are pointing in the wrong direction. I apologize for that. Um, here's the coil right here, and the, the, um, as you can see, it's coming around from that air, uh, angle around the coil this way, and this is the end coils, and then the two starter coils. Uh, your start wire I have running right to the collector on the uh, transistor. This transistor came out of an old television. Uh, a lot of the old computer monitors and the old tube televisions have nice big, you'll find them on there, NPN transistors. Uh, just go online, look up the number, and you'll be able to uh, see if it's an NPN or not. 90% of the time they are going to be NPNs. And this here is a different diode than what John Bandini uses across the emitter to the base. And... I would experiment with different diodes if I was you. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it, it's kind of a what diode you have at one time. I don't think they're all made exactly the same at the factory because I've had certain diodes that were the same number work differently. Uh, go through diodes and find out which one. Um, get yourself a breadboard so you can just switch through them, and you'll 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 hear the difference in the performance of your motor. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up. I just want to show you the resistor that I'm using. It's a it's a big 10% tolerance resistor. Uh, in the picture, I show you that it can get very hot. Um, and you don't want to burn yourself. So if you have a big one like that, it takes a, longer for it to heat up. Uh, I have it hooked up to a power source, 12 volt DC converter, AC DC converter. Uh, the outside ring is, is the negative for the ground and the inside where I put a piece of copper down the middle uh, would be the positive and I'm going to hook this uh, hook this motor up and give it a whirl, I can spin it this way or this way, I'll show you okay that's clockwise I'm going to spin it counterclockwise I've never spin it counterclockwise before, so I don't know if it's going to perform this good. show you also a quick demonstration of Lens Law. I have a nice uh, thick piece of aluminum right here. Let me show you what happens as it approaches. It acts as a brake. Okay. And then I'm going to spin it again. Again this time clockwise. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Again, this is my uh, Bandini, uh, not my Bandini, uh, <laughs> it's just a drawing that I made, and uh, this is some of the specs that I have, the resistor, I've used lower ohm resistors than 100, and it wasn't performing as well as it did with 100 and up, um, I do suggest getting at least a 1% one, 1 tolerance, if not 5% tolerance, this is a 10% tolerance resistor. Uh, any NPN transistor will do, and this is a response to Kamel Al-Kadi at YouTube.com. I hope this works for you. If it doesn't work for you, let me know, and um, I'll try to help anyone out to build one of these amazing motors. Thank you very much for your time.